Let me visualize this planting design in 3D. I'll go to the Land Effects SketchUp connection. I've already clicked on Send Layer to send the site and building layers over to SketchUp, such as these, and I've extruded those in SketchUp for my model. Now I'm ready to bring my plants over. Now that I have plants in this design, I will click on Export Design. The system uploads the data and then says I can go to my SketchUp model. Clicking Import from CAD, I see a dialog box with all of my plants listed. I now need to assign a SketchUp model for each plant I want to visualize. When I click on a plant, I go to the library of SketchUp symbols from Land Effects. I'll look through these to pick a symbol that represents this tree, or I can click Browse to browse for my own symbol. Let me pick this one, and it's added to my project. Now I will do the same for all of the other plants. I can now click the Import button. The plants are placed as they were in AutoCAD, and for a random look, each symbol will be slightly rotated and sized differently from one another. This allows for a quick way to review a planting design or for a presentation to the client. I can place plants in the SketchUp model to refine the design or I could have even started my design process in SketchUp and place the plants where I think they should be. I can select plants from the library for this project, or I could have even added plants to the library from within SketchUp. When I'm done, I will click on Export to export this SketchUp design back to CAD. Then, in AutoCAD, I'll go to the SketchUp connection and import a design from SketchUp. You can even place site amenities, such as benches and tables, in AutoCAD and go to the SketchUp connection to import these items into SketchUp. Now in SketchUp, import the design from CAD to visualize the various benches, tables, play structures, and even your own custom items in SketchUp.